Hey guys, I'm Kano from Two Mates Fishing. On today's Tackle Talk for Kato Fishing World, I'm going to show you a fantastic rig called the Donkey Rig or the Double Flute Rig. This is an American uh, style uh, bass fishing rig that they use over there, but I reckon it will do a lot of damage over here, especially for your native species like bass, cod, or even flathead and brim. Brim will chase this every day of the week if you chuck it in front of them. Um, basically what it what it is, is it's two lures working at the same time as you're jigging them along. What these do is crisscross each other and dance around without getting tangled. So basically all you need is two jig heads, uh, two swivels, barrel swivels, and cut two bits a litre, one longer than the other, and then invest in a couple of jerk shad uh, squidgies or whatever lures you like to use but has to be the jerk style lure without the squid wriggly tail because problem being is if you're using a wriggly tail um, it actually takes longer to, to fall down to the bottom and that will actually almost get you tangled up with this sort of rig so I prefer to use a 12 pound line if I'm fishing for uh, the smaller fish like your brim bass and uh, flathead and stuff like that but it, you can also use this on your saltwater targets like snapper and kingfish and all that as well because not only can you use this while dropping down to the bottom and letting it crisscross all the way up to the top you can also use it on the surface so if you're chasing kingfish for example you can cast it out as far as you can then wind and twitch your rod really quick and that'll get both lures dancing all across the surface and crisscrossing so this is a really good rig to use. So let's get into showing you how to make it. Usually I cut one longer than the other, mainly because as it's crisscrossing, it doesn't hit the other lure and give you a chance to actually get tangled as well. So try and make one longer than the other, only by a little bit. These are only, say, half a foot long each. So you don't really need too much leader and it only takes five minutes to rig it up. So you don't need much gear. You can do it simply. Your kids will have a lot of fun looking at it as well. What this rig is designed to do, as, as well as crisscrossing, if you hook a fish, one line is going to be able to freely spool off one way without hitting anything, and your other one will be attached to your main line. So you get your smallest one, your smallest uh, leader, run it onto through your your main line through your eyelet and then get your longest one and then just do a simple blood knot straight to the straight to the swivel and then tie it off cut the ends What this will allow is get your couple of jigget, your couple of soft plastics. Make sure they're perfectly straight because the straighter you get it, the better it's going to work in the water. Push it on until it starts bending over and then straight through the top and push the rest on. That'll keep it nice and straight, nice and flat. And do the same with the other one. So you can mix it up as well. You can use different types of lures. So I'll, I'll use the gold one for that. And the blue atomic that I've got here will go on the other. This one's actually already been attacked but it's just a spare lure that I've got hanging around here. So what that will allow, as you can see, one line can move freely if it gets hooked onto a fish and the other one is permanently attached. So what this will do, as you're jigging it, both lures will crisscross and not get tangled. So all it is is just a light little tap, let it sink, light tap, let it sink, light tap. But if you're going across the surface and using unweighted, just really quick taps side to side and wind at the same time. And that'll allow it to dance across the surface and look like they're fleeing and will create a lot more activity on the surface as well with water splashing everywhere if you've got the bigger lures. So it's a, a great way to actually catch kingfish, but I do recommend 
upping your leader if you're going for the bigger species. So do try it out, experiment a bit. Uh, if you have any questions about the double flute rig or the donkey rig, um, send us a message on Kato Fishing World, comment in the link below, and look forward to seeing some of the great catches that you catch using this great little rig. Thank <music> you.